Well, it's a big day for families in the Kansas City, Kansas Public School District. Starting today, all students will be headed back to the classroom. KMC 9's Martin Augustine is live at Eisenhower Middle School this morning ahead of their arrival. Hey, Martin, good morning. Uh, good morning, Rob. It's been a year since we've seen the typical hustle and bustle of a, a morning at school with the kids arriving here at Eisenhower uh, Middle School. But now that's happened in the last 30 minutes or so. Buses have arrived, dropped off kids. They've gone inside to try to have as normal a school day as they could possibly have after this pandemic. But that being said, there are some students in the KCK School District who've already gone back to class. Uh, some students, including those who had some connectivity issues at home, seniors who are fulfilling graduation requirements and special education students too. But the best bet, or the best estimate anyway from school district leaders is that by the end of the day, 85% of students in the KCK public schools will be back in class. Dr. Alicia Miguel is the interim superintendent and she says in a statement this will be a memorable occasion for us as we reflect on how we navigated through the challenges of the pandemic together. That 85 percent number of course an estimate Joseph Jewett is the middle school here uh, middle school principal here at uh, Eisenhower Middle School. He told me a few minutes ago that it's very possible that that number will fluctuate over the next few days as some students that they didn't expect to come back to class will come back to class and a few others may opt to stay at home and do online schooling for the rest of the year. Reporting live, Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. All right, thanks so much, Martin. Well, Children's Mercy Hospital will begin a series of coronavirus vaccination clinics tomorrow. The first clinic will be for Missouri residents 16 to 22 years old. They have to meet one of two criteria, first being a minority, and secondly, you have to have been diagnosed with a chronic disease like cancer, COPD, heart disease, or type 2 diabetes. Appointments must be made for all clinics. To sign up, go to Children's Mercy's website. And today, more Missouri residents get their shot. It all takes place at the Kansas City Zoo. That's where we find KBC 9's Matt Evans this morning. Matt, hey, good morning to you. Now, how does this all work? Uh, good morning, Rob. You can see some of the large tents behind us here in the cheetah parking lot at the zoo. The zoo utilizing their large open spaces like their parking lot like this one to get as many shots into as many arms as quickly and as efficiently as possible. The zoo has partnered up with Community Builders of Kansas City and Swope Health for today's vaccination event where 2200 shots will be given out. This is a drive through clinic today. It begins at 10 o'clock this morning until 4 o'clock this afternoon here in the Cheetah parking lot. Healthcare workers running this site say that if you have an appointment, make sure you show up on time and make sure you wear a mask. This event is only for Missouri residents that are eligible under phase one or phase two of the state's vaccination plan. Also on hand today will be volunteers from harvesters and happy bottoms to distribute food and diapers to anyone in need. The zoo does remain open for normal hours today. Parking lots to the west and north of the main entrance are open for zoo patrons. There will be signs and volunteers directing traffic throughout Swope Park today. This is a registration only event, appointments only. No walk up appointments will be given out. It's important to note that appointments right now are full, but you can still register online to be put on the standby list for this event or get registered for a future vaccination event at SwopeHealth.org. We're live in Kansas City this morning. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. All right, thanks so much, Matt. Well, the race to get a vaccine may have gotten a little easier here in the Metro. It's all thanks to Peter Carcinoli, a local man who has been following the vaccine appointment trends for the past month. He created the KC Vaccine Watch Twitter account. It's a bot that automatically sends out a tweet as soon as appointments open up in the Kansas City area. Sometimes it's a whole week of appointments, and then sometimes it's one or two that got canceled that they're putting back out there. Well, Peter's vaccine tracker checks stores like Hy-Vee, Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS. He says if you don't have Twitter, find someone who does and ask them to set up notifications for the Vaccine Watch Twitter account. Then they can let you know when appointments open up. And meanwhile, of course, with all the changes lately, we want to take a moment for a refresher on where both Kansas and Missouri are with their vaccine rollout. Well, Missouri is now in phase two. This opens up vaccinations for people who work in construction, manufacturing, higher education, and a number of other sectors. Vaccines should be open to all Missouri adults by April 9th, a week from Friday. And right now, Kansas is in phase five of its vaccine rollout. That means anyone over the age of 16 is eligible for a shot. And we are following some breaking news this morning. Pfizer just announced its coronavirus vaccine is 100% effective against the virus for kids ages 12 to 15. The new report just came out after a study of more than 2,200 teens. Pfizer says that the doses were, quote, well tolerated by the age group. It's a small study that has yet to be published and checked out by peers, but it is a promising step in the goal of vaccinating kids and adults. 
And small businesses have borne the brunt of the fiscal stress from the pandemic, but now more help is on the way. Congress and President Biden extended the deadline to apply for the Paycheck Protection Program. We checked in with Blue Ridge Bank and Trust, which has helped hundreds of businesses get millions of dollars in loans. Well, most have been forgiven. The extra money is helping businesses cover bills and get things moving again. So absolutely, it's just, um, you know, right in the nick of time type of thing to just keep work moving. Give those businesses a little bit uh, more of a financial lifeline to kind of get through hopefully the, the tail end of this, um, this pandemic. Well, companies with 300 or fewer workers now have until May 31st to apply. 60% of the money has to go to payroll in order for the loan to be forgiven. Meanwhile, every day we're keeping track of reopening plans, case numbers, and the vaccine rollout. To stay up to date, make sure you download our KNBC9 mobile app. You can also visit KNBC.com and click on the coronavirus tab.